here is take a look at the world of sport from the perspective of our friends across the pond in uh, the United Kingdom. It's time for another segment of ESPN UK, everybody. Let's have a look at it. And welcome to another edition of ESPN UK. I'm Sir Cecil Wesley Hogg. And I'm former footballer and current parolee, Dirk Weeds. <laughs> I love the smell of fresh grass and I like the smell of a soccer field too. Ah, booyah! <laughs> the big story in American sport is baseball's steroids scandal. The list of players under suspicion is too lazy for me, for me to read aloud. <laughs> it's too difficult for you to say aloud if I read aloud. <laughs> Try it again! Yes. The list of players under suspicion is too lengthy for me to read aloud, so we will flash them on the screen. Oh, all right, then flash them up. Wow, oh, look at all these men. Good lord. Oh, no, I could never. Look at that. Did I just see Babe Ruth's name go by? I'm afraid so, as well as Cookie Monster, Howie Mandel, and the Osmonds. The Osmonds? <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Even Regis? Even Regis Osmond. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't see what the big deal is anyway. A few steroids now and then, never hurt anyone, right? I'm sorry, Doug, but as usual, you're dead wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> Here to explain is Dr. Dominic Monaghan. Dominic Monaghan! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yes, to Cecil, even the casual male steroid user faces dangerous side effects, which include the growth of wiry, almost wig-like hair on the uh, scalp area. <laughs> and, and the emergence of uh, gynomastia, or, or man boobs, as they're commonly known. <laughs> Sudden bouts of uh, unbridled rage. What the bloody on... hell do you know about this, you tosser? Look at you with your book smarts and your chiseled shins and your yeah. Yeah, shins. That's I can see your shins from so, here. And excuse me. Gorgeous. <laughs> Please, this man is a medical doctor. Absolutely, and uh, perna uh, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps the uh, <laughs> the worst thing of all is uh, severely shrunken testicles. <laughs> God, Dirk, he's talking about you. I saw those little marbles in the shower last week. Oh. You were a steroid user. No, no, no. I come from a long line of uh, small men. <laughs> Mr. Weems, I can help you, but I, I can't understand why a soccer player like you would be using steroids. Well, it was back in my drinking days. I stumbled into a nightclub with mm. some great music, some really cool lights. Mm. All the guys were really fit and muscled out. Mm. Uh, I don't like where this is going. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I felt really bad about my body. So, uh, you know, I, I got some steroids, I hit the gym, and then I went back. And those guys were really impressed. They bought me drinks until I passed out into the bathroom. And... Oh, dear. You took steroids to fit into a gay bar. <laughs> No, no, uh, gay, no, uh, it was a, uh, no, it, it was a regular bar. And, uh, was the DJ wearing sparkly underwear? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I was that DJ. You're DJ Spangles? You bet your man boobs I am. No! Is it too late to make a request, DJ? Oh, good Lord, that's all we have time for. Join us next week on the SBN UK.